Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So um, the bulls are fighting very, very hard to try and get this thing to turn. And uh, you know, typically when that happens, it is volatile. It's um, all over the place until we get the the structure that the bulls are wanting, and then the bears will give up, and uh, then we get moving. Uh, I don't say that's happening. I don't say we've got a turn at the moment, but we definitely do have a break and close above this level here which i've been watching um, and that is 31272 and that is basically a double bottom there's the first leg second leg diversions on the on the double bottom and there you can see it happening there so we have been ignoring every little bit of structure you can see there is the first level so every one of these tail that we were looking at was pretty much ignored. Uh, we've got a grouping of the oscillators on the three hour at the moment. We've got a crossover. I expect some kind of a pullback, but where that pullback is going to be is another story. And I think you probably picked it up on the lower time frames. This seems to be the most logical. And that is the neckline of the double bottom. It needs to be tested. It was tested with one bar here, but I think we need to see it tested on a higher time frame as well. Uh, each one of these tails here is going to offer an opportunity for support. There's one there at 31,200. And then there's a big cluster down here at 31,078. Probably 31,100 uh, would be the round number to look for. We've got a grouping here of the oscillators. You can see there it is there. The double bottom uh, engulfing bar, inside bar broken through the, the bottom here, retested it with one bar with the oscillators grouped to the upside. They are separating. So this is not to say this is a top, or it's a mini top, should I call it, uh, of this messy move to the upside. Now what we're looking for is a pullback on structure. Bear in mind, non-farm payrolls today. So um, <clears throat> I wouldn't touch this until we get the data out later this afternoon. And then you can see you know, what the data has what the data is and what the sentiment is and then you wait for the market to open and see what's going to transpire but i think for me what it's looking like we had a we've had a pretty strong up day yesterday look at the moving averages so i would expect this to continue somewhat it's just on the higher time frames it is looking um and there's still room to move on the eight hours you can see that but if we're looking at the the three hour, you know, we are done. We should be looking for a pullback. And that makes sense. There is a fairly decent uh, retest here of the 155 on offer as well. So if there is sort of a bit of negative news this afternoon, expect a deeper pullback into this area here. But for me on the weekly right now, we had a range bar last week and now we've got a bit of a, a pin bar forming. But the important thing is there are buyers coming in here. You can see there were tails, green bar, tails, tails. So there's lots of buyers coming in. Um, so just be, be wary of chasing shorts. I think that's the moral of the story. Not to say that the downside move is over, but just be wary of it. Right, looking at the 15 minute, you can see how we respected this level for quite some time yesterday before getting going. And then it was extremely volatile. Expecting that top level a bit. Uh, came back to test this level here. So lots of opportunities to jump in here. Look at the oscillators in the 15 minutes. So um, I suspect we're looking for a little bit of structure and uh, we should get moving for another leg up today. In kind of my view. But I think we're probably going to be sideways while we wait for the data today. So uh, this morning session is probably gonna be relatively quiet unless somebody knows something and somebody always knows something and uh, is starting to place big bets so that would uh, get this uh, moving as well okay so anyway watch out for the data pay attention to these levels you're looking at the moment for opportunities to buy but the downward trend is not over so you are looking to buy against the trend so in that sense keep your position side relatively small and keep your stop loss really really tight so you, know, you want to protect your capital as best as possible. And the uh, last thing is pay attention to these oscillators on the hour. They start grouping like this, near structure, 
there's going to be a great opportunity for a buying effort. Uh, and I think there's probably a little bit of a flag forming here. This double top has played out. So this to me, 31260, probably a well worth paying attention to. And you're looking for a long in this area with probably a 200 point stop loss down below the structure. So that's not too bad. That's actually a fairly decent opportunity. Anyway, that's kind of me today. I hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you on Monday morning. Cheers for now.